Hi and welcome to Midspace. This video explains the external mode event uh, or zoom mode uh, as, as it's also known. So using this mode you can create an event that links to an external platform such as Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, YouTube or anywhere else uh, if you want to take people off of the Midspace platform for the event that's happening. We can do this by creating an event so I'm going to go ahead and create one happening right now and put it in the track A room. I'm going to put it into zoom mode. It can handle more than just zoom links. This does not generate a zoom meeting. You have to have your own zoom license and create the meeting links for yourself and I'll show you where you put those meeting links in a moment. This can be used for other things. It's called zoom mode but you can use it for links to other places such as Microsoft Teams, WebEx or otherwise. So we're going to call it demo zoom event and select some conf content. You need the content to be linked to the event uh, for it to be able to pick up the link that I'll show you in a moment. And then we'll just leave the other options unchecked. So I've created my demo Zoom event down here and linked it to paper four towards understanding. So now I'm gonna go back into the management, into the content and find my paper four and add a zoom element to it. By renaming this element, I can turn the, the text into something else. So in this case, uh, I'm going to rename it to example website, and I'm just going to make it link to example.org. Not an amazingly useful uh, title text, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And I'll go ahead and set that to be wide as well. So now I can go into my external video call and we can see it says click to join example website. The example website is coming from that content uh, that I, the, the element that I renamed. So in this external mode, uh, we can see this nice big shiny button and if I click it, it will take me off uh, to the external platform. If this was a Zoom link, it would join me into the Zoom meeting. If it was a Microsoft Teams link, it would take me to the Microsoft Teams meeting. In this case, it's taken me to example.org. These links show up at least 10 minutes before the event. Uh, and so people can arrive into the room and join uh, via that. By default, this is hidden. So if you go to the content, you can't see it, uh, so you don't get access to it outside of the event when you're not supposed to be joining that Zoom room, which could be disruptive uh, to anything else happening in the room. But if you want to, you can go into Manage Content, find that paper, and I'm going to do two changes. Firstly, I'm going to unhide it so you can see what it looks like in the content. And the other thing I'm going to do is rename it back to Zoom so you can see the effect of renaming that element. So now you can see renaming it causes it to say Zoom instead of external website. Additionally, if I go to the content, we can see the button now appears because I've unhidden that element. And so it shows the go to Zoom button. So that's how we host external events and they show up in the schedule uh, with the external, external video call uh, icon.